So, the spooky season is here, as you can clearly see by my shirt, which, to be fair, I was wearing it yesterday, so. And yeah, I do wear clothes in a row multiple days. Depends on how long I'm wearing them. Uh, by the time you saw me yesterday wearing this, I had only been wearing that shirt for, I think, about an hour, maybe. And I went straight upstairs and, like, took a shower and went to bed. So when I picked it up, I was just like, huh. Because I, I laid it on my bed. That's the thing. Whenever it's, like, shirts that I want to wear again, I, like, lay them on my bed. And <clears throat> I picked them back up and was just like, yeah, still good. And here we are. Yeah. That's how I get away with not doing laundry as often as some people. And some people would say that that's very, like, that's not very hygienic. It's like, eh, it just depends on, like, I don't have a girlfriend right now, so <laughs> I don't have anyone to really complain about it. And I don't hear anything from Nick. I mean, do I smell horrible or anything like that? Mm. Eh. I don't hear any complaints from anyone else, you know, Kathan or Kate. I mean, yeah, it's for, as far as I know, it's like everything's good. I'm the same. It's like I'm not trying to impress anybody, so I'd rather do less work. <clears throat> so if I put on a shirt late, I'll put it on again the next day. Yeah, same. So, all that being said, though, we figure we would start out the spooky season with Four Halfling Barbarians Part 2. <laughs> because it just released today. Yes, it literally just came out. And I saw the notification <coughs> on my phone, and I was like, oh. And I know that uh, some of you would expect us to like wait for Micah for this. Unfortunately, Micah has been very busy the last couple of weeks. Hopefully, he'll be able to come up this week. We'll see how that all goes. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we are instead going to just be jumping in on this. You know, the four halfling barbarians. Part two. So... I guess let's just... Uh, Last time we had two people who hadn't already seen Halfling Barbarians. This time we have two people who haven't already seen Halfling Barbarians, so it should balance out, hopefully. Yeah, even so... Though the, even though the coffee shop Jesus is not here. Yeah, unfortunately, but eh, it is what it is. So, let's just go ahead and get into it. This is Four Halfling Barbarians Part 2. Here we go. Ah, back to the complete... Running through the wreckage of their explosions. Yeah. You fucking kids! I've got places to be! Beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Ringleaders have to die. He's like, I have good news for you, sir. They're already dead. You did it. You actually did it. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I know what you did. All those people in the Druid's Grove. You slaughtered them to a man. Did it make you feel important, huh? Did it make you feel big? Your mouth, yes. <laughs> true, and all your power and strength is going to lead you right where you belong. Dead. Oh. Oh. R.I.P. Carlac. Here is my blade. They just Let's murdered my you. girlfriend from my first playthrough. That's messed up. I think they're just murdering everybody. Yeah, pretty much. Don't kill. Don't the kill Scratch. Okay, good. Oh, what a good boy. Oliver. Damn. Death. <laughs> This is holy. I've never clapped your poor sister. <laughs> I've actually never seen that interaction. Bye bye now. How shocking. Another barbarian with all brawn and no brains. <coughs> you know, I. <laughs> Oh. God damn it. Really? <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Just kill everyone. Air condition is familiar. 
poison. <laughs> I like how she dies and it's like cure the poison. Nope. Just, let's just. I don't know where they got it, so many javelins from. Or if they're all throwing javelins, but that seems to be super effective. Oh my gosh. Fish folk got plenty of power. We can share. We let it pour. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it gets what? <laughs> I'm really hoping that the scene that I think might be in this is coming up. They're just passing them around and they just check them off the floor. Oh, he did not escape. To be fair, I actually fucked up and the same thing happened on my playthrough. <laughs> oh well. He's, he's not in a safe situation at all. <laughs> of course not. Look at him. <laughs> I did the same thing to that guy. Yeet! Yeet! Yeah. Ow. <laughs> oh. Cross the lake and kill the drow. Alright. Alright, yes, this is the part. Alright. It's alright. It's alright. I'll do it. <laughs> We're off on an adventure. We're on a I know exactly what he's about to do here, what are you I bet. Doing on <laughs> Bye. Motherfucker! <laughs> that was like my favorite thing in the game, the fact that you can just, just push him backwards off the boat. Just throw them all. <laughs> there you go. That is an amazing detail that you're allowed to do that. <laughs> Just like, yoink. <laughs> and she has a reaction to it. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh. Now them halflings are big boys. Yep. <laughs> they all ate the red mushrooms. Hello there. You look nice. Okay. All right. Who unleashed... Uh, okay. Who unleashed Pacific Rim in my Dun Dungeons and Dragons game? <laughs> I was kind of thinking like this is like the evil alternate skin for Reinhardt. Yeah. Or Gypsy Danger from freaking Pacific Rim. Where's Charlie Hunnam? And here we go. And they just beat the hell out of it. You get an achievement for that, by the way. <laughs> for beating him? For just beating him straight up without doing anything extra. Oh, yeah, really? Like a a grim, grim fate. I don't have time for Drudnan outsiders. So we actually did the same thing. Argo was like, yeah, we were actually supposed to do this to make him easier, but, you know, you just kind of beat the shit out of him. And I was like, it worked. <laughs> Let me be your end. No. Ah! <laughs> no. Damn. <laughs> well, still pretty good stuff. 
Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. I I swear, man. It's just holy shit. St- still damn funny. Still so damn funny. I ain't got so nothing. The game actually helps with a few of the bits on its own by like giving you the options to do certain things. Yeah. It's like these, these bits write themselves in certain places, like pushing the guy off the boat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is just so comical. Just like, <laughs> just like, like, he's a dwarf, so he just flips him upside down as he falls off. He's like, he's like, what are you doing on his boat? This. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I'm, I'm just sorry, really, really, really impressed by the smoke powder barrel bit. Uh, every time I hear someone fall now, I can't help but hear like the jet. Because I've been playing party animals here recently, and there's a guy, uh, his name's Jarek, he's in Mortal Kombat 4, and he has probably the most hilarious death, like falling to his death sound I've possibly ever heard in my entire life. Uh, hold on. MK4 Jarek. There it is. Oh, uh, let's see. What about her? Someone in, uh, in Party Animals, you know, you can jump and do a drop kick. Here's the thing. This guy jumped and dropped kick. I was near the edge of a bridge that was falling apart. <clears throat> I'm back on the end, on one end of it, like near the end of it. I think I'm like a border two in. And I'm up back there trying to grab a weapon. All of a sudden, some dude just comes out of nowhere and just... Just like drop kicks me. But he goes flying off the bridge to his death. And I just imagine the... What about her? Pretty much. Oh god, that's so good. Uh, so the the whole deal with uh, with with Baldur's Gate is I need to play it, man. I need just me and Rick and you and maybe some others just play through it. Highly and, recommend it. And just make that a series. Make that a, a series that we do. Maybe we can. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe we can make a video series out of it on the gaming channel. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. But right now, I think we're going to end it here. So, uh, that's going to do it. So, this was Four Halfling Barbarians, Part 2, by Okoi. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, subscribe to Okoi on our main channel. So, uh, there we go. <coughs> I know you're subbed to him on, uh, like, your personal one, right? Mm-hmm. I so, subbed after seeing the first video. I was like, this is amazing. I want to see more stuff like this. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and do that. So, Okoy, congratulations on your successes. And uh, I cannot wait to see more from you. So, uh, I guess for now, that's going to do it. So, till next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Take care, everybody. We'll see you then. Peace. <laughs>